Hello, hello, welcome back. Destiny. We are in the tower, as usual. Picking up our new next quest and everything. Great times. Another sterling treasure. Useless. I'm sure one day they'll have a use. <laughs> that day is not today. We are still not level 40, you see. Uh. So... Uh, apparently, with the new changes, doing the Sword of Crota Kill Sardon. unlocks the Dark Below quest line. The hive wake uh, I wasn't aware of that fact, so um, we're going to ignore the rest of that for now until it comes time to actually, you know, do that. So, yeah, maybe that lady's makeup just okay, maybe that's the visual effect that her makeup does. It like constantly moves. You never know. It is the future. Mm-hmm. Anything's possible in the future. She's got nano machines on her face. Oh god, we're in Metal Gear Solid. Aha! I've drawn you all. <laughs> You've tricked us. So yeah. Uh, you'll have to excuse the um, the fireworks. I have no idea why people are setting off fireworks. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, two weeks early. Dating <laughs> video. Maybe, uh... Maybe they're really, really excited. Or they're testing. Maybe they're testing them out. America. Mm. Or there maybe no... it's just another day in America. <laughs> there is no America on the moon, which is where we're going again. How can you light fireworks on the moon when there's no oxygen space magic oh, I should say there, there's no atmosphere coming on all channels space magic from the space Fine. magic nothing in before a goon comes into the we believe <laughs> says, actually there is atmosphere on the moon the traveler of its light or then a goon comes in and says actually there's no atmosphere on the moon and you saying that is completely wrong <laughs> Yes. Actually, fireworks are completely independent of oxygen. This ritual could be happening in any one of their thousands of chambers. Well, actually, sparklers are. So, if the fuse is, is the same as a sparkler, then <laughs> it oxidizes itself. So hey, we're back actually, here. Actually, it's yes. Change of topic. <laughs> we're back here, except we aren't actually going down into the big hole today again. Not yet. What was okay, that thing? Good scan, but not enough to locate the ritual yet. Let's what was looking. what? That big circuit. Was that your ghost yeah. that you were punching? Yeah. Oh, I thought he went into the hole. Okay. No. See, wherever I point doesn't actually uh, end up being where the ghost will be in the open world once you let him go. But, uh, you know, an optical illusion that I've been doing this entire time was pointing exactly where I knew it would be. LP secrets. Oh god, you're going to be kicked out of the Magician's Guild because you've revealed your secret. <laughs> you've revealed the secret behind the magic trick. So yeah, like I said, no more sniper rifle. We are now officially moved on to the shotgun. We're going to have lots of fun. Awesome, I love shotguns in FPSs. Yeah. I guess kind of accepted multiplayer games where I got usually you'll die in two bullets from any gun. So by the time you're on top of someone with a shotgun, they've already killed you. That's not entirely true. Shotguns have actually been a real... I don't know if they've changed it, but when I was playing uh, PvP regularly, uh, shotguns were a real menace. Oh no, I'm not talking this game. I'm talking other FPS games, which oh. will not be named in this LP. Yeah, yeah no, no. We've got enough ghosts sure. here. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sure everyone can tell which game I'm talking about based on our LP history. <laughs> so yeah, we're actually uh, back in... I believe it was the first mission on the moon we went into the Temple of Crota, and that's where we're headed to again. Except this time Just we're going a new further. location. Yeah, we're, go we're going further in. Some place we, we have to go deeper. We have to go deeper. Are we gonna 
unleash the Balrog? Have we dug too deep? <laughs> I feel like I've made this joke before in RL base. I'm not you sure. probably have. Also, I didn't know the Sparrow actually had a horn, and in my desperation, I hit the button for it. Because I didn't want a repeat contact. of what happened. Could be the speaker. Well, expect that in the future then. <laughs> I was going to be driving along, honking the horn the entire time. Let's That's if I can deal. figure out which I'll fucking button it is. The signal. Press the horn until it works. <laughs> That's usually what I do. Oh, hey, I recognize this place. Yeah, this is where that big ambush that was used, used to be really scary happened. Yeah, I've only seen this place like two times so far. Yeah, imagine that. There's a cutscene exactly where the last cutscene happened here. We're gonna get swarmed again. <laughs> We've woken the hive! Uh, you're interesting. Wait, have we Not really? entirely interesting, but <laughs> you have promise. The you know, you look like you don't really have much in the way of armor. I'm a warlock, I'm not supposed to. I'm losing the suit. Also, it doesn't really look like you're in a space suit. I know what you're about the to helmet. Do. Is good enough, uh -oh. I guess. There are enemies out here Although warlock helmets see. look kind of derpy. Oh, Space magic. <laughs> Go down. You cast breathing on yourself or something. I don't know. <laughs> Unending can. breath. Come find me. Hmm. Signal dropped. Digging deep because into the, the nerd. Orbits. Venus, northern hemisphere, Ishtar region. Oh, cool, they've divided the moon into hemispheres. Great. Actually, that's Venus that he was talking about. We go down. Which is oh. our next destination. <laughs> oh, we go down! <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd get a kick out of that one. <laughs> I mean, it had to be said in Ugg's voice. The voice character for your character didn't do it right. Yeah, I think, I think there's, like, one voice for every... Uh, race and sex so no real customization there no if you want your character to be a, an idiot you, it just can't happen I'm guessing yeah. no unfortunately uh, the UG illusion will be dispelled in probably like 10 videos which is unfortunate because it's great if it happens in a flashy cutscene, we're all fine. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we have not been here before. This is new sites, but it's all hive architecture, so it all looks the same. Right, it's the way of getting around the fact that it's exactly the same place. <laughs> The layout's different, but the architecture's the same. Yeah. You it's may all... not have noticed it, but your brain did. <laughs> it's all green, there's lanterns everywhere, bunch of darkness. Bunch of hive enemies, you know. Yeah, you know. So I have we not been deeper. Yeah, I have not actually been showing off our skill tree, but every time we level up, we get. Uh, well, okay, I should explain this. Each skill tree uh, levels up dependent on the experience you gain. Now, I've seen her. if you're Just playing like I am with this LP, every level you'll get a new skill point, basically. Um, this changes if you change over uh, skill trees. Like say, there are there are different elemental paths you can go down. Obviously, void walker is void damage, so you know, so on and so forth. But um, if I were to switch over to the solar damage uh, subclass, that would be an individ uh, independent skill tree, and you'd have to unlock a bunch of upgrades, and they would fall out of sync with your current level. So that's kind of right. interesting. Can you swap back to your original skill class at any time? Yeah, absolutely. You can just uh, decide what you want to be and play. Uh, one... Okay, so the Taken King added a new one. 
So each each class has three subclasses now, one for each elemental damage. Uh, and the third one that was unlocked is gated until you reach the Taken King content. And um, the second tree is actually gated until about level 15, if I'm not misremembering. Right. Okay. Uh, if you have a character that is above the level requirement, you can start out with the second subclass. But if it's like your first character on the account, you, you're you stuck with the first subclass they give you until 15 or so. See, I kind of zoned out and I, I didn't pay attention to any of that because it didn't make sense. But I'm sure that other people will play this game. That'll make perfect sense. Eh, we'll, 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 go over, we'll go over it again when I go uh, showing off what else the characters can do. The other subclasses and the other classes and whatnot. Once we get to the Taken King. Yeah, pretty much. Whenever that happens ten years from now. Ah, it won't be that long. Probably. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Destiny. I'm now 70 <laughs> years old. And welcome to the Taken King. Non-stop action all the time. Look at this. This is amazing. I actually really like uh, playing with the shotgun. It's it's a hell of a lot of fun. I mean, shotguns are always fun. Yeah. There's nothing greater than getting in someone's face and just blasting them, just blasting them I, away. <laughs> so I don't advise doing what I tried to do there and getting into melee fights with the big enemies. It never works out very well. Hmm. And there you see the downfall of the shotgun. Reloading. Yeah. <laughs> also, I am currently out of ammo for it, so that's fun. Also, look, it's a very fun encounter. Three fucking wizards. Actually, fucking I think you'll find that one's a witch. Technically, they're all witches. All the hive wizards are female. Oh. I learned something about the uh, hive today. Equal opportunity. Yeah. Also, I made it out to be a super bad encounter, but honestly, I think in this case the wizards are a bit nerfed, because otherwise that would have been a pain in the ass. Yeah, take that, Obama. <laughs> I don't know, I have to work that in there somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, remember last time I, uh, I think it was two videos ago, I mentioned how the cursed thralls, they'll, uh, they'll explode and deal damage to the enemies nearby. I finally got mm -hmm. to show that off in actual, in an actual way instead of trying to kite them around. Hmm, that's good. I always like exploding the red barrels and killing a bunch of enemies with it. Yeah. There's something just satisfying about it. Also, I, I, I had to, I had to because I took that fucking explosion earlier in the video. Blech. Yeah, I saw that, but I didn't mention it. I was not paying any attention. Also good to note is that enemies can actually lose track of you in this game. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I just snuck up behind that guy. He had no, no idea. He had no idea until you killed him with bullets. Yeah. And then he regretted all his decisions. So I saw you try to show it off there. Yeah. I decided against it because it was taking too long. <laughs> but hey, there was a good one. I chained one explosion into another. Shame you didn't get any actual enemies with it. You only got another cursed thrall. <laughs> it's fine. I think I didn't notice that. And I see all Python. Yeah, it's fine. That's what you're here for, to keep me honest. Oh, you've almost got another grimoire. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll just kind of happen. You don't, you won't even realize it. You'll see the pop-up at the bottom and be like, Oh, okay. I guess I did that. Hey, look. It's the boss. Uh, mini-boss. Oh, right. He's not the size of the room. So he's not a boss, gotcha. Mm -hmm. 
I've hit the mother load of shotgun ammo. Gosh, finally. I thought we were gonna have to be stuck with a assault rifle. Look how quick this chump goes down. You got a weapon for killing him though, that's kind of bad. I I actually completed one of the bounties I picked up way, way long ago. And does that give you a cool weapon? That gives me um that gives me experience. A lot of experience. It's a shard of the oh, that's good. Yeah. I have to go turn it in and it'll give me experience and it'll give me a reputation toward a faction. The Vanguard faction actually. Using it against the traveler, devouring its light. God. <laughs> Are enemies on Venus worse than this? Great. That will never not upset me. <laughs> That's why I do it. You should know this by now. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> uh, imagine if I had never found that out. How happy would you be? I would probably be indifferent because I had no idea that it existed. So. Exactly. But now you know. And and, and now you can't unknow. Mm. Actually, there's a small period in between LP sessions where I forget. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it all the more worse every time you do it at the end of an episode. <laughs> you may... Well... After what you just said, you probably don't, but you may remember that I didn't actually do that last episode. No, I didn't know. That's probably why I forgot and felt <laughs> happy going into this video. 